Hi there, I'm Bonnie McCaffrey, and thank you so much for coming back for another vidcast this month. I have met up with Kate Finlay, who is here at the uh, Festival of Quilt in Birmingham, and her pieces are amazingly beautiful, and she has some unusual treatment. So, Kate, tell me a little bit about your work work here. Okay, I started this body of work in September 2008 and it was a result of just seeing some photos in the newspaper and I was really struck with what I saw. And basically it's all based on the Large Hadron Collider which is in Switzerland. A large what? Large Hadron Collider. What is that? This is a machine that the physicists have been putting together over a number of years to split atoms. Oh, okay, so these are all atom splitters. Yes, (laughs) Yes, <laughs> yes, all based on what the machine is about and what the, what the physicists are trying to find out. Right. Okay, so Kate, um, have you been quilting a long time? Uh, no, not really. It's something that I've come to since about 2006, actually. Um, really? Although I've got a textiles background, so yes. Yeah. yes I've gone... and, and what's your textiles background? Uh, carpet design. Car- carpet design? Completely different. Yeah, so uh, very industrial. Yeah. Um, and I did that for two or three years, but got made redundant and you know that was the uh, okay. it is. <laughs> life has other things in mind for you in, indeed yes yeah, yeah. Uh, funnily enough I then went into teaching which I've actually found a lot more creative which is you know quite strange but uh, yeah. yes a very much more creative so you're teaching thing. quilting no 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 I t- t- teach at a secondary school and then I now oh. teach at a primary school so yeah. excellent boy yeah. you're a woman of many talents <laughs> yeah well we're going to take a look at um, your design process so let us get set up and we'll look at her quilts and her design process excellent <laughs> all right Kate you have a wonderful notebook of how your designs come about tell me how it works Um, I think because I had an art training, I was trained to use a sketchbook and I just find it a very, very useful tool in thinking through my ideas. So it just seems a a logical thing for me to do. Uh, When I first saw the images, I wanted to just play with a few bits and pieces and just see what came out of it. And so I I literally started with uh, cut up bits of magazines, uh, putting things together, uh, just trying out the circle idea and and the colours. So that's you know that's very much what I started with. Just cut and glue. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Just you know cutting and pasting uh, and 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 just playing really, right. and, and just right. trying to get the sort of creative juices flowing. Right. Okay, so then what do you move on to next after you have an idea or...? Yes, what happened next was I looked very closely at a lot of the photographs I'd found. Uh, CERN are are very generous with all their imagery Uh, and I I did actually ask permission but in fact, you know, they they grant it pretty freely. Uh, So I downloaded a lot of imagery. Uh, I mean, of course, a lot of people would prefer to work from their own source material but I find that with this sort of thing, you know, you can't, you can't get there. You can't go and see it because it's all literally hidden away underground. Right. Uh, and I actually do think that everybody does work from inspirations and that some of it is photographs and paintings and yes. art. And so, yes, it's, it's just, it depends what it is that, yeah. that, that, that sort of does it for you, isn't it really? So is this an image? Yes. So that was one of the images literally that was, uh, I found, uh, and I was very intrigued with. So, uh, you know, I thought, okay, I'll start with that one. That's really, really doing something for me. So again, playing with collage, you know, uh, beginning to look at fabrics, uh, trying out different techniques, bonding fabrics onto card. At this stage, I was less interested in making them quilts. I was more interested in just playing with textiles, but in, you know, a, a more um, creative way, really. Right. So, so these are not fabrics. These are just a no. bunch of. We're working with color and That's texture right. and yes. stuff. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. And then, so here you have a very neat asymmetrical. Were you thinking asymmetrical? Uh, no, I wasn't. It was partly because it, it's just sort of just trying out a section, right. really, right. rather than you know. But uh, yes, it, you know, of course, it, it, it's lovely in its own right to do something like that. Absolutely. And then it looks like you went and started to picking fabrics. fabrics. Absolutely. Yeah. This was the very first one I did. Uh, but uh, again, it was using quite a lot of silk, actually. Uh-huh. Um, fabric wrapped around card. Um, you know, sometimes shears on top to give different effects. Right. I I don't uh, mind sewing through cards. So I I often do that as well, actually. So, Interesting. Yeah. So so it, like paper cards. Yes. Well, paper and card, card actually. Stuff. Not too thick, obviously, right, right. because of the same 
machine doesn't like it. But yes, you see here, that's that sewing, you know, through card there. So does that mean it should never be folded, the quilt? Yes, that's right. Okay. They were very much wall pieces that, right. you know, I saw as, as just being, right. you know, a picture on the wall. And yes. what I do notice is that several of your pieces are framed, which yes. is wonderful. I mean, that's just a, a beautiful yes. way to, to display them. Yes, yeah. Well, again, I, I feel that... It, you know, I think textiles can it can look absolutely beautiful as as a picture, uh, and you know, with those sorts of pieces, I was trying to really get the sort of jewel-like intensity of them, and, and I you think got it suited it. it you know, yeah. being framed actually. Now, um, do some of your quilts have meanings behind them? Yes, very much so. Um, to start with, I was very drawn to the colour, the pattern, you know, the form, but. As I got into it, I, you know, I, I, I started reading up a lot more on the physics because I realised I was finding it quite interesting. And also, I wanted to yeah. get it right, actually. Um, so this piece behind us, in fact, has got several uh, layers of meaning. Uh, the the centre circle was inspired by an eye because it came from an earlier piece, which was also about looking in and looking out. Oh, uh, I and like I chose that. blue looking because in. I've got blue eyes. <laughs> Me so, too. <laughs> so that, that's why it had blue. But it, that was actually based on, I think it was called a pixel barrel, a photograph I'd seen. And behind the pixel barrel was just empty space. But I, I liked the colours that was creating. So I thought I'd sort of use that imagery, which, as it said, turned out a bit like an eye, actually. Yeah. So I've got that. But also superimposed i've got a chromium atom structure so What's the little what, okay, dots chromium <laughs> like chromium. Um, just a, yeah. a mo- some kind of molecule uh, an, yes a molecule okay. that's right yeah. an atom structure yeah. i chose chromium uh here we are so all these dots are the chromium atom structure um and that's that is correct any chemists or physicists would know that that is correct okay. i hope <laughs> Uh, but I chose chromium because chromium, of course, is, is a, a silvery uh, metal. Uh, so I, I wanted something that was still, you know, relating to that. Yeah. So it's very much about scale. It's about the tiny, tiny atoms, but also this huge machine and sort of like doing the two layers of things there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've always been fascinated with the thought of atom and solar system. Yes. You know, th- yeah. it's a repetitive thing. It is. A repeat pattern. Yes. It is, absolutely. Yeah, and, yeah. and what I find so interesting is that at CERN, they have built this vast machine, and it really is vast. And inside, it's H- how vast. How big do you think it is? It's all... Rooms? Buildings? Um, bigger than buildings. Um, oh, my it's, gosh. It really is huge. And it's something like, oh, I'd have to check, but I think it's 37 miles around in the circle, underground. Oh. It's really enormous. Okay, a lot of buildings, yes. like a small city. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's really enormous. For one piece of equipment. Yes, well, kinda. absolutely, yeah. yeah. And what's so extraordinary is that inside this enormous thing, they are trying to split atoms into even smaller fragments you oh know gosh. and you think how how can they do that you know but yeah. they need this enormous machine to be able to do that yeah. and yet what are they finding out about it they're finding out about the universe right. so it's right. all these different you know tiny and huge thing going yeah. on yeah now this piece over here tell me about that yes the blue and that silver. was based on um another part of the uh the cern structure called Alice. All of these are based on Atlas, and that one's based on Alice. Um, and again, Alice. Well, a different machine. Uh, it is. It's still okay. within the uh, the whole circle underground. Right. Okay. But yes, they've got four sort of stations, and each of the stations are finding different things out about okay. um, atoms and you know dark matter and things like that. So Alice. Um, Alice uh, is one section of that. This was inspired by a photograph still under construction so in fact what you can see there is effectively scaffolding oh, uh, looking into it yeah um, so that I was inspired by the scaffolding um, what's on the outer edge however is uh, screen printing I've actually screen printed the fabrics myself and it's based on Feynman diagrams which were um, a physicist in the mid 20th century called Roger Feynman who invented these diagrams which showed how atoms divided and that's what he was doing. And so, uh, in fact, I very nearly called the quilt homage to Feynman because it was very much about his, yeah. his work, actually. Yeah. Now, this piece over here, I love that there's just like a piece sticking right out off of the surface about an inch. Yes, yeah. Um, I, 
<laughs> in my ignorance, being, as I said, having not done much quilting, I, I would like the idea of, of adding things to the quilts, but I have to say that I can see why people don't, because if you want to carry them around, it's a lot harder. Okay, <laughs> so, <laughs> styrofoam weighs less. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you know, it's just the whole wrapping them up and transporting them, well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Not so easy. No. But Well, if you frame them, you just slip them in a box. Yes, yes. <laughs> there we go. That's, that's right. So, yeah, it's pros and cons, isn't it, really? But, yeah. Yes, I, I like the idea of having things actually coming out from the surface yeah. and that again was very much about two things happening you've got the deep space uh, and you've got the machine splitting the atoms and, and the pink lines are representing the, the trails of the atoms as they decay so that's that's what that's wow. you know trying to trying to show there so basically this is a play on words it's called does the dark matter and it's it's sort of partly saying it's about dark matter and deep space but also it's saying tongue in cheek is it all a bit dark you know with what I've created yeah, right. is it, so. does the dark matter yeah <laughs> okay so oh we've turned a page let's see we have oh we've turned a couple pages <laughs> where are we going here uh, again these were playing uh, with ideas for the next of the series um, I started off with all of the ones which were the 24 inches square and I chose that format because it was it was more manageable to then sort of create ideas a little bit more quickly right uh, and you know it, it gave me you know lots of things to, to try out mm -hmm. the thing with the whole series that I absolutely was struck by was the, the whole circle within a square and I just really wanted to keep that as the main theme of what I was doing because I felt I like the repetition but also the variety and I, you know, I just think then it, it, you know, it's, it, it gives a coherence doesn't it when you're looking at something yeah you know? yeah so back to drawing and that's right trying fabric, out fabrics trying yeah so I'm mean, a whole mixture of things oh do you know what they are barbecue sticks <laughs> <laughs> barbecue sticks yeah, that's did right. you actually Space do silver. this <laughs> did you actually do this yes yeah which one uh, Is it that here? one's the, the one on the right hand end there yeah so oh my gosh. it's got some bits of those in and wire uh, but i use that on on several pieces actually yeah. yes yeah it's I've, a great effect oh well, well that's it you know it's surprising what you can you know get away with i think i've got not one here but i've, I've got one with the end of um, a cocoa tin in it <laughs> <laughs> everything is game, right? Absolutely. So you, everything you th yeah. oh, that would work. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. Oh, it's not too deep. Absolutely, this that's right. Great. If it's it fitted, that's so, right. So, um, do any of those have special messages or meanings in them, or is that more of an exploration of? Um, it's they are all inspired by different aspects of of the Large Hadron Collider. Um, the two in the centre there uh, have both got wire in, which was a new departure. Um, they are both talking about. Um, the splitting of the atoms and the and the and the path of decay. Uh, in fact, I got sidetracked because the top middle one there, I was intending to use fiber optic cable for that, and, <gasps> and I got sidetracked into just putting wire in. But then the next one there has got fiber oh, optics okay. in, and yeah. this is a, a new departure with something I'm really quite interested in exploring That's more right. yeah. and doing something with. So uh, we'll see. It's uh, it's got its problems, but you know, I, I think it's uh, it could be a really quite exciting yeah. thing to do with textiles. You know, that uh, you know something different and modern. So well, Kate. You your work is wonderful. Let me ask you a question that I love to ask people. What is your philosophy of life? <laughs> um, if you to work hard, but to really go as far as you can with you know your creativity. I just think that that's so important. You you know you have to if you if you've got something you've got to go with it and you've got to um, develop it as much as you can. Yeah. Yeah. So. Congratulations on your exhibit, and thank you thank for doing you. this with me. Thank you. I've really enjoyed it. Thank you. And thank you all for coming. I hope you'll come back next month to see what I have for you then. Thanks for being with me.